10 steps to consider when living in a domestic violence shelter. This is a job search strategy for those experiencing domestic violence. Many women, children, and men on a daily basis are consumed with the aftermath of domestic violence. Shelters are full to capacity with residents due to issues caused by the economy, including domestic violence, unemployment, and underemployment. Transitioning from home to a domestic violence shelter can be overwhelming. It is quite difficult to gather thoughts, personal items, money, and composure to move forward from the cycle of events that led up to your stay. The 10 job search steps below are to be considered with the workout and safety plans of the staff, legal advocates, and social workers of the domestic violence facility in which you reside. The 10 steps are not, and I repeat, they are not to take precedence to your domestic violence issues. These steps can help you to move forward with your job search, which for a person of domestic violence presents with far more barriers than that of an average person's job search. I'm sure that your advocate has given time of adjustment to your residing in the shelter, review safety plans, and have developed an employment search plan to help you gain independence and financial stability. It is imperative that throughout your search, you remove as much doubt as you can. It takes time. Now you have new issues, including living in cramped spaces, eating and showering when someone else says so, here is a more positive approach to your stay. You and your family's safety has been secured. Trying to search for employment and land a job is now necessary as your stay in the shelter may be limited. Because I am not licensed to provide you with counseling, I am certified in the assessment of a job seeker for the creation of resumes and other job search marketing tools. And I'm also certified as a career life and business coach. I have also had the experience of motivating and coaching myself, family, friends, and clients throughout a tumultuous time. This, my friend, is how I can present the steps to finding employment under the pressures of living as a domestic violence victim in a domestic violence shelter. I will try to motivate you to be acquainted with the use of a checklist and a plan. You should condition yourself to check the list off as you move forward. Try to check off at least two things a day I will try to motivate you by saying to you, you can do it. I know from experience that you can and that you must. A thorough plan and adherence to that plan will make you successful at what you set out to do. Do not by any means take your stay at the shelter for granted. I know that this is a difficult time and that there is more pain and unanswered questions of why and how could he or she have done this to me? But one thing for sure is that it did happen and you must prepare and put forth effort to get stability back into your life. Did you know that obtaining shelter is most important than anything you need to accomplish? If you have no place to live or an unsafe place to live, Having money does not satisfy the stability needed during this uneasy time. This is a fact. Did you know that while you are at the shelter that you now have housing, you're dislocated, but you have housing. The lights are on, there is heat and air conditioning, there is food, soap and water, and bathing facilities. There is laundry space, there is clothing, shoes, and food donations. There are school supplies. There is access to counseling services, transportation, and other resources such as information to social services, permanent housing, and Medicaid, Medicare, and social security agencies.